Hello and welcome to Tabata, one of my favorite ways to work out. I hope you love it too. In Tabata training, we work really hard for 20 seconds, get a very quick 10 second break, and then get right back into it. In a true Tabata workout, your heart rate goes very, very high during those work rounds. We're not gonna go quite that high today. We're gonna spend part of our, our training doing strength work. So for that, we will want a set of moderate weights and a heavy weight. But we will also do some cardio where you are welcome to go all out and try to get that heart rate very high. Also in traditional Tabata training, you get a break after your four minute round of Tabata. Today, because my timer doesn't quite work that way, we're not gonna take those breaks. But keep in mind, since this is on video, you can always pause and take extra recovery time whenever you need. All right, are you ready for a great workout? Let's warm up. March it out. Standing nice and tall. Lots of familiar moves in our warm up today, so our muscles are ready for that challenging to bottom work. All right, let's start with kicks forward, right and left. Don't let those kicks throw you off good posture though. Keep your spine nice and long. Now knee lifts, take it up, up. Drive the knees strong. All right, reach for your insoles. Right leg, left leg. Getting a turnout in the hip, warming up hips and outer thighs. For eight, good, four more. Same movement, we're kicking it back. Almost like a hamstring curl, but it crosses over the body just a little bit more. Nice job, eight more here. Good, down to four. Side leg lifts, right, left, lift it up, up. Another move to warm up hips and outer thighs. Eight more. And you'll see all these moves again. We'll do each round twice. For now, wide knees, lift them up. Up. We did regular knee lifts just a moment ago. Now the knees are wide for eight. Good work, four more. Four, three, get ready to squat. Take it down, up, down. Hips drive back, weight in your heels. Let's add elbow rolls. We want our upper body warm as well. Four more here, four, three, Two, step out a little wider, lunge, right, left, right, in. Right, left, right, step in. Right, left, right. You're hinging from your hips. Keep your spine long. We have two more sets. Then, after this last one, we start from the march, but this time left, right. Left, right, left, right. Ready to go through it all again. From the kicks, left foot first, kick it forward, forward. Kicks don't need to be high, I always say that. Just strong for eight, seven, four more. Next up, knee lifts. So these knee lifts go straight ahead. Good. Eight more here. Arms are moving, getting our shoulders warm as well. Insoles are next. So turn it out, out. You're reaching for the inside of your foot. Kick it back. That kind of funky move right here. Very similar to the hamstring curl. Four more, four, three, in two. Side leg lifts, left, right, lift it side, side. Again, doesn't need to be high. Just warming up those hip muscles. Eight more. Last four, wide knees, left and right. See, I told you you'd know all these moves. Nothing crazy in our Tabata workout today. We want to focus on working hard, not being too complex in our choreography. Squat down and up. Squat, rise, squat, rise. Ready to add the elbows back. Squat and open. Great way to stretch shoulders and chest. Lunge, left, right, left. Three, two, one, come in. You got it. Take it left, right, left. 
We have one more. Good. Lower down. Inhale back up. Exhale, hands to thighs. Back stretch. Roll up. Do that one more time. Big breath in. Exhale out. Round your back. Rise up when you're ready. All right. Ooh, I'm excited. I hope you are too. We're starting with strength work. So grab your moderate set of weights. Since I'm going to be busy starting the timer and it starts right away, I will preview the first move. So as soon as you hear that beat, you're off. It will be a side lunge to the right, come in center, open, close. So it's a lunge, center up, you're still hinged, open, close. So you keep the elbows close, hands out to your sides. All right, guys. Are you ready? Whoop. Shoot. Hold on, hold on. You get a couple extra seconds to rest. And go. Go, go, go. So side lunge, we're staying to that right side, by the way. And you will see this again on side two very quickly. It's like dinner time. <laughs> That's the only reason she came all the way to the basement. Hello, sweet girl. Hello. All right, that's your cue to pause. 10 quick seconds of recovery, then we're doing the same thing to the other side. All right, here we go. Lunge, come in, lift, lower. Your spine is long the whole time. We're staying in that nice hinge position so we can get right back to work. We never stop working, right? So we'll repeat every strength move, that's our rest, twice. And our cardio will repeat four times. All right, next exercise will be a deadlift into an upright row. Here we go. Hinge, lift. It is one big movement. You can start the upright row as you rise up from your deadlift. Spine is long, knees are softly bent. Elbows coming up strong. All right, cue to rest. The exact same thing again. It's fun to do things twice, right? I hope so. Here we go. 10 seconds is like nothing. Oh my goodness, and we're really gonna feel that when we get into cardio. Good, perfect form here on the deadlift in the upright row. When we're done with this round, set your weights aside real quick, come back. All right, cardio is next. Four rounds. Here it is. It's going to be step together, step, reach, step together, step, reach. If you want a little more, you can do a shuffle and reach down. So hopefully one of those versions you love because you're going to see it three more times. Now, the cardio round. Let loose. Go fast and furious. Kick the heart rate up. But take advantage of these 10 seconds of rest. Same thing, but this time we'll start to the other side. Either steps or shuffles, and we're off. As you reach down, as always, spine is long. You get as low as you feel like going. Good. Hopefully you're feeling that heart pumping at a good, fast rate. Rest. <sighs> All right. Two more times. We'll start to the right side once again. Either steps or shuffles. And we're off. Right into it. If at any time today you need longer recovery, take it. You can also ignore the rest times. If you want to keep moving through them, that's another challenge. Totally fine if you're up for that. All right, recover. One more, and then we go right into Tabata two. No extra long break. We'll start our shuffles, our steps to the left. So after this awesome 20 seconds of cardio, you will grab your moderate set of weights again. And we'll get right into New exercises in our second round of Tabata. Eight rounds today, by the way. I'm not sure I mentioned that. So, one is done. Just seven more to go. 
All right, coming up will be a side squat with bicep curls. Here we are. I'm hoping you can hear the beep. If not, just start when I start. I'll try not to steer you wrong. I'll try not to start early or stop late, but I can't promise anything. Good. So we're keeping our feet forward, getting into our squats. Perfect. All right, one more round of those, but we'll step to the left. Whoo, legs and biceps. We're here, squatting girl. She's still waiting for me to feed her dinner. She's gonna have to wait a little longer because it's not even dinner time. Oh my goodness, although I'm hungry too. Good job guys, I know you're working hard. Hang in there, rest. Next exercise, we're gonna start with our right foot back, one row, tap in, out. All right, shoulders down and back, here we go. Row, tap in, out. Row, in, out. She's really persistent. Drive your elbows directly back. Nice diagonal line from head to heel. That leg movement keeps your heart rate up. All right. Second round. You know what it is. Get your left leg back. Hinge and be ready. We start with the row. Row, tap in, out. Row, in, out. So you got a lot of weight on your front leg. So that front glute and hamstring, working hard, as well as your back in the row. After this, weights will go aside, and we have more cardio. All right, here we go. Weights aside. This one's tough, I'm not gonna lie. Squat lifts or squat jumps. Here we go, down and up. It's like there is no break. 10 seconds is so darn quick. So if you wanna stay low impact, just lift onto the balls of your feet. If you feel like jumping today, you're lifting and landing softly. All right, rest. Oh. Don't worry, there's three more times to do that. Yeah, maybe even more than that. All right, guys, here we go, down and up. We might have a bonus round of cardio and strength at some point, so keep that in mind. For now, down and up. Jump or no jump. Some days you feel like jumping, some days not so much. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just that up-down movement gets your heart rate up there. All right, I believe there are two more. All right, we're off. Down and lift. Down and lift. So yeah, there's a little strength in this cardio round. Lots of squats today. Since squats are such a functional movement, why not get those squat muscles strong? Oh, rest. One more time. We've got this. All right. So this is the last exercise in Tabata 2. And we're there. Hopefully, you're doing this with just as much gusto as you did the very first round. That's the goal. To work hard from beginning to end. 20 seconds, you feel like you can do it. Right, it's not a crazy long period of time. All right, come back with one weight, your big heavy weight. This is our swing round. We'll start with Russian swings. So feet a little wider than hip distance. Squat and lift. It's a controlled movement. If you feel like the heavy weight is too much, you can absolutely switch it out for one of your moderate weights. So for this set, the swings are centered. Straight down and up. When we end, end low, rise up. For round two, you can do the same thing, or you can go on a diagonal. All right, here we go. So these diagonal swings don't feel good to your back. You stay with the centered swings. They're all good. Great for arm strength, leg strength, and especially core strength. We got a few more swings in our next exercise. End low. Here's what's coming. 
We're going to cross back with an overhead extension. Reset. Same side. So we'll stay to the right. Here we go. Cross back. Sweep low. Cross back. Sweep low. Now the straight rounds, you don't need to go very fast. These are big movements. So I promise your heart rate will still be up there. I want you to stick with good form. We end low. All right, no surprises. Side two is next. If you don't like that overhead, by the way, you can just cross back with your weight here. Otherwise, overhead, then way down low. Anybody sweaty yet? Oh, I've been sweaty actually since the warm up. Oh, take it down. After this, weight will go aside and we've got our cardio. All right, it's gonna be crunch, punch, knee lift, twist. Like this, punch, punch, knee, punch, punch, knee. Alternating sides. Now this one takes a second to coordinate, but then it's a piece of cake. If you don't like the twist, you can stay straight ahead. So see how your back feels. If you can, get into your squat. Nice. That's a fun one to do four times. Three more to go. On your punches, make sure you got your thumbs in. All right, here we go. Punch, punch, knee. Doesn't matter which direction you start. I couldn't start on the opposite side to save my life. I don't know what it is. It's just hard for me to coordinate. Having said that, I think I'll try it anyway next time. So you can watch how miserable I do. <laughs> All right, shake it off. Two more rounds. Oh, that one's fun. I think this, this cardio is fun. All right, I'm gonna try. Not too bad, not too bad. See, can't be afraid to try things that are hard. A lot of it's mental, right? Just be confident, tell yourself, yeah, I can do that. And a lot of times that works. Not always though, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, oh, one more round. We've got this. Then we'll be done with Tabata three. These go so quick. Unless you're like in the thick of it, right? Oh my goodness, these 20 second rounds of cardio don't seem so fast. We are almost done with this one. So get in there, give it all you got. And then we'll pick up our heavy weight again. All right, go grab it. Come back when you're ready. This is where we're going. Lunge back, rotate, unrotate, come in. So we step back with right. Twist left, center, come in, same leg. We're gonna stay on the right side. Getting a little arm work as we curl and lower. Obviously the rotation, great for the core. Big step back. Keep your shoulders over hips. Beautiful. Side two, coming up in just a few seconds. Left leg back and in. And go. Now we're twisting to the right. It's always a little easier on the balance to twist toward the leg that's in front. But if you want an extra challenge sometime, twist the other way. All right, almost there, almost there. Beautiful, all right. Next exercise will be, which one is it? Wood chopper, wood chopper. Right leg forward and back, staying on the right side. Here we go. Chop, pull in, chop. 10 seconds is not even enough time for me to check my notes. So we better hope my memory is working today. Or you might get a little longer than 10 second recovery. And that's not such a bad thing. So chop here, aggressive. Beautiful. All right, next move, we're cross chopping to the other side. So we'll be the left leg forward. Strong through the arms here, strong. Emphasize the downward movement. And you pull right back in. Landing on the heel with good control. And you know you're doing that if you're landing without making much noise. When we're done here, we will go aside. Cardio is next. 
It will be the broad step or broad jump. Big step forward, run back. Right leg or a double foot hop. Here we go. So whether you're jumping with both feet or stepping with one, it's a big step forward or a big jump forward and you get back to starting as fast as you can, whether you're walking or you're running. That's what's gonna keep the heart rate up there. All right, if you're stepping, it'll be the left foot. If it's a double foot hop, you just keep doing your thing. All right, are we ready? Big step. I do this one a lot of my workouts because it's a great way to train functionally. In everyday life, sometimes we have to take those big steps. So it's good to practice them when we're in class. Beautiful. All right, two more. If you're stepping, right foot again. All right, and you jumpers are landing softly, I know it. Here we go. We're all getting back to starting as fast as we can. Good, how are you feeling at this point? We are almost halfway done. We have one more side, and we'll be done with four rounds of Tabata. We have four to go. All right, so I'll be down home from now, right? Not really. All right, it'll be the left foot. And go. Doing some certain exercise four times is crazy challenging. You may see these, like I said, again. In fact, coming up will be our all strength Tabata, doing all the strength moves we already did all in a row. So grab your weights, have your big weight close by as we're going through them, one right after the other. Get ready, we're gonna alternate. Side lunge, rotator cuff. Other way, rotator cuff. So make sure you're not arching or rounding through your back here. Getting as low as you safely can, side to side. Working back, working legs, working shoulder. Now if you wanna keep going to even it up, you can, or stop. Next exercise, Deadlift to upright row. Knees bent, spine long. One fluid movement. Right into the upright row. Just doing this one time. So make it count. Perfect form every rep. After this, we will move on to side squats with bicep curls. All right, rest or keep going. We'll start our squats to the right. Palms forward, we're ready as soon as we hear the beep. Go, go. I know you don't want to miss one single second. All right? So we're ready. Good work. Next exercise will be the reverse lunge row, and then we'll switch feet. So it'll look a little different than the first time we did it. All right, so we're gonna start in the row, or in the lunge, row, Switch feet, all right? Long spine, row. Step in and switch, row. Step in and switch. So that switch is a little tricky. You've got to transition to the other foot. So alternating sides, not quite as challenging as doing repeated on one, but we're more tired at this point. So it should still feel quite challenging. All right, set your two legs down. Come back with your one, Russian swing. You can do them centered, you can do them diagonally. I'm gonna do both. I think I'll do one center, then right, left. Best of both worlds, right? You do what feels good to you. Or maybe what challenges you. That doesn't always feel great. All right, next exercise, cross back lunge. Lower the weight, cross back lunge, lower the weight. Go, go. And again, if you don't like that overhead, you're bringing in here. Ignore the phone call. I am. <laughs> I forgot to turn the phone off. Beautiful job, smooth control movements. Keep going or finish it up. Going 
be nice and balanced. All right, next move. Reverse lunge, twist. Reset and switch. Once again, we'll alternate. Since we're only doing one set of each exercise, we have to alternate or we'll be very unbalanced. Good, how are you liking this all strength round? Not too bad. Since we're doing an all strength round, probably have to do an all cardio round, right? Not yet though. Next, wood chopper right, wood chopper left. Go. I can barely get the words out before that beep comes in. My goodness. Why is it that 20 seconds seems so long? 10 seconds seems so mature. Good, good, good. So alternating these wood choppers. After this, cardio. Weights aside. Cardio, cardio. We're starting. Step together, step. Step together, step. Or shuffle, shuffle, reach down. Here we are. For our cardio exercises, we will do two. Two of each. So, one more after this. So knowing that should help you pace yourself a little bit better. I like to know what's coming. A little rest or keep going, right? You don't want that to a 10 seconds. You don't have to take it. We're gonna start to left. Here we are. Lower impact or shuffle with a little bit of impact. Uh, are you breathing as hard as I am? Oh my goodness. So good for our heart and lungs. This will be our last time with this exercise. Next one, next two actually, squat lifts or jumps. Oh, used to be one of my favorites until my knees started hurting. <laughs> oh, that's not so great anymore. But this is still a great way to challenge the body. You decide how low to squat. You decide if you want to jump or not. Beautiful. Now, in my opinion, rest. This is going to be the most challenging Tabata we do today. But we've got three rounds down. Five more to go. Squat lifts again. Down and up. This will be the last time you see squat lifts in this workout today. You want to do some more at the end, that's on you. I think I'll be taking a nap after I take a shower. Oh yeah. Uh, recover. Next one. Punch, punch, knee. Punch, punch, knee. Start any way you want. Any way that works for you. Alright. Ready? Punch, punch, lift. Punch, punch, lift. Twist or no twist? I do ask that your punches are strong. You're driving that knee up. You're getting as low as you comfortably can. In your squats. Bam. All right, one more round of those. These help to get out the frustration, right? I love them. Arms and guard, here we go. Punch, punch, knee. I started on my back side again, and it worked. Yay. You can teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> oh, we've got this. We're in it together. I'm certainly feeling it. Woo. All right, two more rounds to go. Broad step, come back, or broad jump with both feet. And go. Nice job. So at this point, we know the movements very, very well. So we're just working them as hard as we can, as fast as we can. Uh, keep going, or rest. And last round coming. You're stepping into your left foot, or keep doing your double footed hops. Go, go, go. After this, to bottom seven, kind of a bonus round. Three new exercises to about eight will be on the floor. For that one, I might take a little break before we started it, just so that our heart rate comes down. But not for this one. 
Grab your heavy weights. Coming up, hold on to the weight vertically. We're gonna circle around, step back right to a squat. Here we go. Circle around, squat, reset. Circle around. The circles can be big with straighter arms, or if you're protecting your shoulders or your back, it can be a smaller circle. The squat can also be to the side if that back position bothers your knee. All right, side two. Hold on to it, nice and firm. Circling to the left, stepping back to the left. Here we go. And here's a little hint. The closer your feet are together on the circle, the harder your core has to work. So if you want them a little wider, nothing wrong with that. If you want a little more challenge, bring them narrower. That's a word, isn't it? Narrower. Yeah, I think it is. It just sounds funny. All right, way to side. Cardio, Heisman run, or three count run. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here we go for real. You pick the pace. You can march it, you can run it. My knees are starting to talk to me, so I'm barely gonna run it. <laughs> Gotta listen to our bodies. And we have four rounds of these, so definitely pace yourself. But each round should feel challenging. Starting to the left this time. Or keep going, right? We know that option. Three count run. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right now we're in the midst of college football. You see the Heisman pose right there for that Heisman trophy? Yeah, good time to bring these in. One, two, three. One, two, three. I hope you're going at a good fast pace for you. We're done. No, no, we're not. No. We have two more. <clears throat> Wishful thinking. Two more sets. We'll start to the right. Three count run. I hope I've counted that right. I hope I'm not doing six of these. Oh my goodness. If, not, if I am, it's just a little bonus. But I'm pretty sure this is round three. Stay light on your feet. Drive the knees strong. We know what we're doing at this point. Rest. One more, then we will take a longer break. You're just going to ignore the beat or the beep. We're ignoring the beat, right? Music's just keeping us motivated. One, two, three. One, two, three. And taking a little longer recovery after this will help our heart rate come down so we'll be safe coming to the floor. Now, it's not going to be a super long break, though. So, when we're done, I want you to grab a quick sip of water. Get your mats out. You will not need your weights. First exercise we do are gonna be V-sit thrusts. So in a V-sit position, we're gonna thrust our legs in and out. And I'll show you some variations of that in case you don't wanna do that one. All right, 20 more seconds to recover. Ignore the next beep. And then we'll get into it. All right, so have a seat. Spine is long, hands back. A few more seconds, and then we're doing this. All right, so here's option one, both feet. Option two, one foot at a time. Option three, just to hold. We are doing this twice in a row. We'll get that quick 10 second recovery, and then do it again. If you wanna keep going through the break, <laughs> go for it. But I don't know, with this, this exercise, I think you probably want to take a break. Give your back a little rest, and then we'll get right back into it. Two feet, one foot, no feet. Oh, goodness. I think that's the end. Keep going, keep going. I'm going to reset this real quick. Oh, I don't know what's happening. I think my battery's dead. So let's go. Go, go, go. Take a little break, so I'm pretty sure the next 20 seconds I was fiddling with that. So just rest. We'll get a little extra recovery after this one. It is well earned. All right, next exercise, ignore the beat, is gonna get us into our 10 second recovery, I believe. And then we're off. So hands behind your head, one leg up toward the ceiling. We're gonna be coming in and out with the opposite arm. All right, here we go. Make sure you're not pulling on your head or neck here. 
crossing over, nice and strong. Now this is challenging after those V thrusts, for sure. So do your best. Keep the breath flowing. You know what's next. Take a little break, and then we'll do the other side. You might want to set up. You know how quickly 10 seconds goes. Opposite arm, and go. Beautiful. Oh, hit that core hard. That's how we get it stronger. Nice job, guys. Hang in there. Oh, rest. All right, you're gonna love this next one. Push-ups. Yeah, yeah. Knees, feet, on the wall, whatever you wanna do. Down and up. Solid form. Don't need to rush these. Even though it's tomato, we wanna keep our heart rate up. We do not have to rush through our strength moves. Keep that nice diagonal line. That includes your head. Rest. Oh my goodness. One round after another and push-ups. No joke. All right, if you don't want to do push-ups, you can hold a plank. So you've got options. Anything that works the core here. Slow controlled movement. Almost there, we've got one more exercise done twice. We'll be done with eight awesome rounds of Tabata. All right, come on to your belly. Next exercise, you've got a couple options. The traditional swimmer, or you can do swimmer legs with cactus arms. So you pick, working hard. Feel your back working, your glutes working. Nice job, nice job. Just a couple more seconds. Oh, we're getting really good at gauging what 20 seconds feels like. All right, last one. Woohoo! All right, we got this. Go. Go, go, go. Swimming or doing any kind of back extension movement. Go, go, go. Almost there, almost there. Oh my goodness. Rest. Oh, let's come up to tabletop and we'll do cat cow. So just flow through, round your back. I'm going to turn this off so we can enjoy our stretch time. Good. Come to a neutral position. Come forward. Bring your feet together. Hinge from your hips. Feel that wonderful stretch.